A long time ago, Apple ceased to impress me. I used to have every iPhone that would be released. Today I was very bored. Uh, I didn't have nothing to do. And I decided, well, let's go to buy an iPhone. Beautiful. I like to buy new things every day. Probably three or four years ago, I got my last iPhone, the, the 10. Because I didn't have a proper case, I dropped it a few times. You can see it's pretty much destroyed. My issue with my iPhone 10 has been the size. A big phone means that your thumb won't reach the whole screen and you will be needing your other hand to do simple tasks like calling someone, responding to someone. I decided I'm finally gonna buy a new phone. It's gonna be the 13 mini. I just ordered it and now we're gonna go pick it up. I don't wanna be late to my Apple appointment. This is a UTC mall and you can find many, many stores and many ways to spend all the money that you make. So that's what the system is about, right? You make money and then you spend it. <sighs> Is it the most wonderful time of the year already? So I got my phone right here. Look at this. It fits in my hand. Because when you have a phone that doesn't fit in your hand, it's like having a hat that do that doesn't fit you or shoes that doesn't fit you. You need something ergonomically designed to fit in your body part, <laughs> meaning what? your hand. Let's switch to this phone and make the first video with this phone. I'm gonna use a wide angle lens and there's a camera, there's me. Now you can go back and forth and choose what you like better. One is designed to be a professional camera, the other one is a phone. Let me change to cinematic mode. The Sony yeah. A7C and the iPhone 13 mini in cinematic mode. Which camera do I look to? My camera has a microphone to pick up the audio as crisp as possible and it has a wind screen and it's a windy day. Once I switch to my phone for vlogging, it will be just a built-in microphone so there will be a lot of uh, noise from the wind most likely. So that's the thing about uh, vlogging with a phone. You also need um, some kind of microphone, lapel microphone that you can wear or something that goes on a mount for your phone to just pick up the audio that is coming from your mouth and not everything around it. We'll see how this does. And that's a video from my phone and the audio from my phone. Here we have the bonsai trees, beautiful little trees. You wanted to see the water? It's right over there. pretty for pictures and stuff. My wife actually does weddings here and I also play weddings here so Selby Gardens a uh, place to check out when you come to Sarasota. Here's Sarasota. All right so this area is very pretty with a lot of trees. Uh, right now this is a video mode on a wide angle lens. Now put on cinematic you'll see how everything becomes blurry in the back. Is that cinematic for you or what? Right? It's kind of cool right? And it's all done with software. And if I look away, it should focus on the rest. And when I look back, it should focus on me. If it didn't work, then Apple, I need a, a refund. It makes part of your ear blurry. Dizzy, Aria, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. All right, guys, a word of advice when you come to Selby here in the Cactus Garden. Make sure you're aware of your surroundings because when I sat down to take a little video with my family, I got prickled in my...
Well, it's been about two months using my iPhone 13 mini on a regular basis. It's very good and especially the camera features. That's, well, no, especially the size of it. That's the number one thing, as I've been telling you on this video over and over. The size is perfection. I've been wanting to have this size again. It's not a big deal to watch the videos in a smaller screen. It's not a big deal. You have your phone right in front of you. You don't need to have, to have a huge screen. But the size factor on your hand is just perfection. That's the number one. Number two, the camera, right? It's just a very good camera. When it comes to pictures for my Instagram and my story, for my story, I used to use my phone, my iPhone 10. For my posts on Instagram, I used to use my camera. Now I don't have to worry about bringing it with me, the big camera. After you take the picture, you gotta download the picture, you gotta edit the picture and then export, bring it back to my phone and post to Instagram. It's the first time that I don't have to worry about it. I can go for lunch. If I wanna take a, a picture of my meal so I can post it on Instagram, oh look, a hamburger, whatever. I don't have to bring my big camera. I just snap a picture with my phone. It looks incredible. I still edit it, you know, I still bring it into Lightroom, but it's amazing how you can get high quality pictures, whether you're using the wide angle camera or the standard camera, whether you use a normal photo or a portrait mode photo. And cinematic mode, when it comes to video, that's pretty much the same as portrait, but for video. So it, it makes everything blurry in the background, but you can also control if you want it very blurry or not so blurry, just like you would on a DSLR camera. Cinematic mode isn't perfect yet, and once in a while it will blurry part of your face, like your ear or the hair. I prefer the real deal with a camera that it will naturally blurry anything that is farther from the subject. It's not perfect, but it's still cool. And for example, for my Instagram story or Facebook, then it's perfectly fine, cinematic mode. But if I'm gonna do something more professional, maybe a, a video review or maybe a sponsor video, I would make sure to bring my main camera. So that's the photography and video part of the phone. The battery life is not bad, it's, it's better than other phones. Once in a while I still run out of battery before the day is over, which is what I don't like. I wish Apple could give us a, a battery more like a Kindle, you know. I have a brand new Kindle that my wife gave me for Christmas that I'm truly enjoying right here and I may make a review eventually. The cool thing about these Kindles is that they last forever. You can use them for like a couple of weeks and not have to charge. I would like a more efficient battery if I can get that Apple next time. You're gonna need a, a cover for your phone and a case. I got the Apple leather black case. It's pretty cool. I like it. Fits perfectly. Looks nice. I also have a OtterBox screen protector. Make sure you get one. That way you don't scratch the screen of your phone or in case you drop it, you are gonna drop your phone. Just know that. I I thought I if I was very careful, I wasn't gonna drop my phone, but then look at my iPhone 10. It's destroyed. You're eventually gonna drop it, so might as well have a case. It feels definitely faster than other phones I've had. It just works well. So overall, I'm pretty happy with my iPhone 13 mini. I think it is an upgrade from other phones. If you're gonna upgrade anytime soon, I recommend you do it. This was my, my you know, overview, basically first impressions of my iPhone 13 mini. Be well, my friends. I'll see you in the next video. Well, I hope you liked my iPhone, okay? Okay? Bye.